Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot and this is a tarot card reading for Pisces. All Pisces placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wherever you've got Pisces in your chart or in your life, there's something in this message for you. And as always, cross watchers are welcome here too. So let's begin. Messages for Pisces, please. What does Pisces need to know? Okay, so I feel like this is somebody who, hmm, they're trying to get what they really want. There's something that makes you feel very happy. This is you. You feel really happy about this. This is a good thing, but you're afraid of something. Maybe you're afraid you're not going to make it. You're afraid you don't have what it takes. You feel isolated and alone. Somehow you're keeping these fears to yourself. You're trying to like hold it together to keep some of these emotions to yourself. You're trying to just focus on your work, but you really, really want this and you are working really hard on making this happen. And I think that I'm starting to get the impression that you need some reassurance from spirit that you've got this. You are powerful. You should trust your own power. You're on the right path. What you are creating is going to benefit you and everyone around you. So keep working on this. Follow your heart. Does this make you feel good? Does this make you happy? Is this what you really want? Pisces, is this what you really want? Then it's yours. Something that you really want, it kind of already belongs to you. In the future, it already belongs to you. So you're kind of, I'm seeing you like catching up with your future self in a strange way. I hope that makes sense. It already belongs to you in the future. So assuming that it already belongs to you in the future, what do you need to do today to make sure you stay in alignment with that future on that timeline? Like you're just catching up with your future self. That's so interesting because usually we think of it as creating our future, right? The things that we do today create the future that we have tomorrow. Very simple, right? It usually does. I mean, obviously there's things outside of our control, but when you're working on something today, you see the results over time. That's what I'm seeing. So someone's really nervous or really worried and they feel like they can't talk about this. They can't talk about their emotions. They are emotionally distant. Is this you? I mean, usually when I first start the reading, I think of it as you. Could be somebody that you're dealing with, though. It would still resonate. And I just feel like this is you. Yeah, this is you. Keeping your feelings to yourself. Staying kind of emotionally distant as you focus all of your energy on some kind of project that you're working on. Your financial situation. Financial success uncompromising absolutely uncompromising you may even be like fighting on behalf of your children or your child but there's definitely something here you're trying to create for yourself and it's a new life it's like creating new life creating a new lifestyle bettering yourself really this is very important to you and it's not easy and sometimes our mind is our biggest enemy i'm gonna get another spread because i feel like you're doing a great job you're, you are afraid of not fixing, fulfilling, doing this, not figuring it out. You're afraid that it's not going to work. You're afraid you're not able to do it. You're afraid you're not powerful or strong enough. But the fact is you are. You are doing it. You are doing it. There's the seven of wands. Don't go halfway. No half-assing it. All right. Sometimes the anxiety and the feeling of low, low self-esteem or feeling like you don't have enough or you're not good enough. You know, you it takes energy away from actually getting it done you feel bad so you start to kind of slack off or you're half-assing it that's what I keep seeing it's like don't stop halfway don't stop halfway you're almost there and you know exactly what this means somebody feels stuck or trapped it's in your mind this mental prison this mindset and it's I don't think it's your fault I'm just trying to help like this is what you need to hear today and these two just fell on the floor together so these there may be like three people involved. There may be two adults and a child involved. There may be a king of swords, king of pentacles, page of wands, two men and um, a younger a younger woman or two men and a younger man or child or I'll tell you it as it resonates for you. So what does Pisces need to know about this that you don't see this? You can't stay where you're at. You've got to push push through but there's the mental 
the mindset, there's something going on where you need more information, you need more, maybe you need more education, more information, more data, because you are not used to this yet. There's something you're new at this. New job. Are you, do you have a new job or a new career? Are you moving to a new place? Something like that. And you are, you're nervous because you just started for somebody. Okay, you're doing a great job though. Spirit wants you to know you're doing a great job. I feel like there's a pep talk coming through almost today. Aquarius had a pep talk recently. If you have Aquarius in your chart, this is giving a lot of the same vibe where your your work is good. You do a good job. For you, it's like you need to trust your power. You are powerful. You are good at what you do. Yeah, three of swords. This is a problem. You're stuck on some kind of a problem. You're not sure you see a way through to a solution. There's an unanswered question. You may need more information before you're able to do this. So you've been putting this off. It's weighing so heavily on you. Yeah, there's the moon. So you don't see a way forward. There's so much uncertainty about the way forward here. Something that you need to get off of your chest as well, or something that somebody needs to tell you. There's the, can't make this up. There's the eight of wands right there. Eight of wands is like communication. This is messages. This is like text, email, phone call, conversation maybe, but it's about honesty. It's about opening up. It's about clearing up a misunderstanding. It's about clearing the air or communicating something, getting something off of your chest and having some kind of a breakthrough moment that you don't see it coming in the future. Look at this. Look, there's the moon and the eight of wands, okay? And then there's the three of wands and the six of wands. What you don't see coming, you can't see the way forward. What you don't see coming is your own personal success in the future. If you just stick with it, with confidence and determination. And it's like, do you have Aries in your chart? Tap into some Aries energy. You know what I mean? Like tap into Mars energy, Jupiter, Leo energy. Yeah, Jupiter, Leo, oh my God. Wheel of Fortune, the world, Jupiter, Leo, Taurus, um, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Fixed sign energy. It's like tap into your resources. You have the resources at your disposal to take advantage of this opportunity and make the changes in your life to make your dreams a reality, to make your best life real, to make it possible, to make it happen, to grow and change and, and to establish um, the future for yourself, a very happy future for yourself. So I see something is coming to an end. Some kind of difficult cycle is coming to an end where you felt stuck, you have felt trapped and you are getting out of it. Look at this, the two of wands now to the three of cups. This is looking forward to a celebration. This is looking forward to being happy in the future. This is looking forward to having a good time. All right, this is support. You have supportive people around you. There are people who care about you. There are people who recognize your skills, who want to give you the reward and the recognition for your merit, for your good work. There may be a new boss. You may get a new boss. If you got a new job or like the company got sold to a new owner and you don't know who this new boss is, if you're gonna get along or whatever, it's gonna be okay. I think it's going to be okay. We've got the moon here. That's you. That's you showing up in your own power. Um, I think you're, you're confused or you're upset or you're fearful right now. And sometimes our fear lies to us. It, it tells us the worst case scenario. You know, maybe this is a survival mechanism. It can help us get prepared for things that we may not otherwise be ready to handle. Nightmares can be instructive. Okay, we can learn a lot, but look at the future here. We've got a vision for the future. So so there's the Five of Cups. It's like um, focusing on the negative is taking energy away from the positive. Focusing on the negative, even though the negative may be valid and you may, you may need to spend time there sometimes. It's like um, the message is like, don't overly focus on the negative. It would be just as as um, counterproductive as maybe overly focusing on the positive. You wanna be realistic, which means you don't wanna be overly positive or overly negative, okay? Pessimism can be just as unrealistic as total optimism too. So it's about balance. Balance and being centered, moving forward from a place of confidence, 
centered in your own power, trusting your own power. You got this. You are able. You are capable. You are more than capable. Maybe you're even overqualified. Yeah. So yeah, there's a future. There's a future here. I see it. I see that in the future, this problem is getting solved. So keep going, whatever this is. I feel like that's the whole message today. You're going to get some information. Questions will be answered. This will help you to solve a problem. You'll see the way forward towards a good vision, a bright vision for the future that you don't really see it right now because you don't have this information. Maybe you're waiting for a phone call. You're waiting for an email. You're waiting for somebody to get back to you. You sent out your resume. You're waiting for somebody to get back to you. You've applied for this job. You're waiting for them to hire you, you know, that sort of thing. And you're like, am I ever going to get through this? And the answer is absolutely yes. 100% yes. You're going to be okay. And you need to know this. You need to believe it. You need to have faith in yourself and in your own power. It's essential. This ordeal that you are going through is going to reveal something about your own character. It shows you how strong you are. How would you know how strong you are if you were never tested? This is your test. Testing your strength, testing your character, your stamina, your faith. And it's like, I hear you, you're tired or you just don't see how this is happening. But it's like, give it your all. Keep going, keep pushing. That's the message today from, from spirit, angels, guides, whoever is speaking to me, to you, whoever this is for, you know this is your message. Because you are kind of stuck in your mind, in your mind, in your head, you're up in your head, you're overthinking it. That's okay, but it's not helpful. It's not really productive. And like you need to meditate or be centered or like center yourself, right? Sit quietly in maybe the lotus position and look at the situation. Visualize yourself succeeding in this situation what does that look like what does success look like to you today pisces if you spend a moment just thinking about it you probably know exactly what it means to you already you probably don't even have to think about it but you should visualize you should think about it okay so for somebody it may be success looks to me like i get this job and i'm able to show up every day and make the money i do my job i do it well i make enough money i pay my bills that, that's what success looks like to me. I have a stable job and going into the future, I have something to celebrate because I got this job and I've been paying my bills and I'm doing really well. Beautiful, beautiful. Spend some time visualizing what does that look like? Literally, what are you wearing when you go to work? Okay, what do you have for lunch? Visualize the details. What do you do at work? Are you at the computer? Look at you doing the thing at the computer, solving the problem, doing the work, figuring it out, making the money. And then you go home and you, you get the, the paycheck. Visualize the paycheck. Do you have direct deposit? Visualize the money is in the account. Visualize your money is in the account. And just continuously visualizing success. Now, I know it's easy to get caught up in negative thinking and anxiety about the worst case scenario. But what if you start taking some of that energy and putting it towards the best case scenario? Are you putting as much energy towards visualizing the best case scenario as you're imagining the worst? I don't know. It's just showing me today. It's like, you don't see how this is going to happen, but it is going to happen. It will be revealed to you. You need to keep going on the path and to be inspired by the vision of hope and optimism for the future that you are destined to receive this. Claim it. You are destined to receive. You are destined to receive. I am destined to receive and receive it. Claim it. You know what I mean? Like take that for yourself and run with it. What I have, what I deserve, it's already mine. I'm just catching up with my future self. It's already mine in the future. It's already yours in the future. Pisces, it's already yours. Whatever you want, it's already yours. Just believe it. I'm not saying that's all you have to do. Obviously, you need to put in the work. You're going to have to put in the work when you do get the opportunity. You're going to receive the opportunity. You're going to take the opportunity. You're going to run with it. You know, you're the one that's running with it. You're the one that's taking it on showing up, being responsible, whatever you do. It's your power. You take it, you harness your power, you put it towards that. So visualization is a tool for manifestation. It's one tool of many in the magician's toolbox. You know, you're the magician. You have all the tools, the pentacle, the sword, the wand, the cup. You've got it all. You can receive, you can give, you can think, you can have, you have what you need. 
So receive it and use it. That's the message today. That's good. I like that. I want to take my own advice. Honestly, we should all, we should all think that way. Like in my opinion, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't, but like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's a really good way of thinking about it. I love that. I'm glad to be a part of giving that message today because I feel it myself. Like I hear that because it's easy to get bogged down in dark thinking. Somebody's got a lot of dark thoughts and it's self-sabotaging beliefs or thought processes, negative thinking. And I feel like it has a time and place. Negative thinking is not useless. It serves a purpose. It can help us survive in a dangerous world. You need to be able to imagine and think about and plan for you know, bad things that sometimes do happen. You don't want to pretend there's no such thing as bad things in the world, obviously. But that said, good things also exist and good things also happen. And you want to be prepared for good things to happen too. Because what if you're so focused on the negative that you miss the opportunity because you don't even see the good happening for you? So maybe this is confirmation for you of something that you already know. But I feel like it's a reminder from spirit today. This is like a reminder that you've got this, that this is happening. Look forward to this future. Imagine what does that look like for you? Follow through with that and you can have whatever you want. Why not? Why can't you? Well, of course you can. Millions of people have the same thing that you want. You can have it too. It's absolutely within the realm of of possibility it's probably gonna like you are definitely gonna get what you want in this reading for sure growth expansion success reward and recognition support communication coming in very supportive communication it's helping you with your vision for the future yeah there's the star i'm telling you the two of wands to the star that's all about vision of the future visualizing your success being optimistic and hopeful seeing the way forward. This is your destiny. This is what you are destined to have. It's what you're destined to receive. You are following this pathway forward. It's very good for you. It's very healing for you. Some kind of information may be coming in online or like email or text or like you're doing research on this. Yeah. Ten of swords and the five of pentacles. You're going through a hard time. You've been having a hard time, but you are straightening out your life. The worst of it is over. And you are finding a way forward and you're going to get whatever the help you need, assistance you need, the opportunity, the money, whatever this is that you're looking for. It could be a number of different things for different people. But it's it's showing me that there's something that you need. You need it very much. In fact, you may even be kind of desperate or you're really anxious about this. It's weighing heavily on you. It feels kind of dramatic. You may have lost your job or you may have been laid off in the past. This is somebody that has already been dealing with that, has already happened in the past, and you are working really hard on putting things back together, figuring something out, getting unstuck from a difficult situation, pushing forward and moving through it, working through it, getting serious, goal-oriented, getting information that you need, getting some kind of communication that you need to see the way forward here. It really opens up some kind of a door for you. Some kind of a path opens up for you. And this helps you to end a cycle that's been very difficult and walk into a more prosperous, comfortable future. There's the magician again, okay? So this is what you're manifesting. This is what you are creating. Four of Cups, the devil. Yeah, I just feel like, yes, this communication, this opportunity, whatever this is, yes, it is coming for you. It's coming towards you. You're being gifted. It's like a gift from the universe here. You're given an opportunity. I also see that somebody is very dark in their thinking. They're depressed, okay? But you need to get ready to go. You're going to be a lot happier. Get ready to be a lot happier. You're having some kind of a breakthrough here. This is changing. This conflict is being, like you're being redirected or you're, you're finding some kind of a new focus. You're being taken out of that dark place and brought into the light. A much more creative, liberated place. Yeah, this is like liberating you from 
physical situation, tangible material situation, as well as the, the mindset, the mental prison, liberating your mind from limiting beliefs. It's almost like you might want to take a deep breath and kind of release the tension from your muscles. Maybe even lay on the floor for a minute and just take a few deep breaths and release the tension. Relax for a moment. Spend a place in, spend some time in that relaxed state, that place. Maybe even get some sleep. I feel like someone's very unhappy, very unwell, tired. And it's so easy for me to sit here and say, go with the flow, right? It's all going to work out. It'll all be okay. But that's maybe hard to hear if you're in a, a hard place, stuck between a rock and a hard place. It may be kind of hard to hear somebody just say like, just chill, bro, relax. It's all going to be okay. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's maybe like, okay, thanks. Easier said than done, you know? But that's the message I'm hearing today through these cards is... You don't see how good the future is going to be yet. Just keep going. What you want is yours. It belongs to you. Believe it. And there's the emperor. Trust your own power. You're taking control of your life. You're taking your power back. You have a lot of power here in this situation somehow. You may have Aries in your chart. What is this? Something is coming from dark to light and opening up for you. And you're going to be able to build on that a more solid, stable foundation. I feel like, again, it's coming back to there's communication coming in. Somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to talk to you. They're very curious. They want to connect with you. Somebody's looking at you right now. Doing maybe a background check. It could be this boss that wants to talk to you. This Aries that wants to talk to you. Sagittarius. I know something happened to set you on a new path, a new course towards something better. I feel like there was a breakup or a breakdown. You may have lost a job or been laid off or something. And now you're getting a new job and this is going to make you feel really good. There was some destabilizing situation. It was unstable. It was volatile. And now it's becoming a lot better. You're getting more focused, consolidated, more concentrated. Something's being distilled. All right, it's being boiled down to the essence of what it means to live a happy life and be happy with your family and whatever the happy ending is for you, the 10 of cups, whatever that emotional fulfillment and satisfaction means to you in this reading today, that's what you're going towards. Full steam ahead, no half assing it, no half measures. Push forward. You've got this. That's what I've got for you today, Pisces. You have the resources at your disposal to make your dreams a reality, to make your vision come true. Continue to focus on that beautiful vision of the future that you have. Visualize what does success look like to me and keep going one step at a time. You know, your questions will be answered. This problem will be solved. And you're going to straighten this out and it's going to be okay. It's going to be great, actually. You're going to be a lot happier. You're going to be glad that you did. Okay? That's what I've got for you today, Pisces. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. You could email me. I'll let you know how it works. You let me know what you need. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.